So you guys, I'm homeschooling. I know, I know, some of you guys are like, oh my goodness, I wish I could do that. And I think, honestly, and anyone can do it, any mom can do it. It's not hard, it's not just for people that have been teachers, and it's not like, it's only as hard and as much as you want it to be. Homeschooling is actually a, a great way to like, con take control of your scheduling and make it easier on you as a mom. Because I know like the whole dropping off, picking up, um, homework, and it's just like a crazy... I've worked at a middle school for five years, um, and I've worked at elementary schools as well. It's just, it's crazy, crazy, and then with, like, school shootings and, like, so much going on now that I feel like homeschooling is looking a lot more, like, a better option. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about homeschooling and why I've decided to homeschool my children. I know that, um... A few years back, a lot of people thought of homeschooling like, what? And I will share my, my um, resources and stuff that I plan to use down in the description box. So if you guys are interested, I am Christian though. So a lot of the curriculum, some of it will be faith-based. So just so you guys know, a disclaimer. Um, and if you're interested in that, even better. But um, yeah, so like I, I was saying, I've been thinking about this for a, a long time and I, I planned it I guess as soon as I became pregnant, I started planning for it, and I said, I always said that if I was able to stay home and homeschool my children, I would, and now that I am, um, I'm actually going to start buying the curriculum for this year. Um, I've been homeschooling a little bit uh, during the whole indoor stay and everything like that. I bought some stuff, which I did share in my previous blogs back in, like, 2020 um so then i did do some stuff she learned her numbers her colors and things like that but i do want to go more in depth in each subject so i will be purchasing her curriculum from now on to like i have a plan till like eighth grade my idea is that i want her to be homeschooled especially in the beginning of the of her years just to set a foundation a very strong foundation on our beliefs and on like everything that i i think it's important um i know some people think that maybe homeschooling is like sheltering a child um I would say that I'm not planning to be like that. I am planning to prepare her with different types of views and perspectives, religions, not just our own. I just want her to be aware of everything. So when she does, like, as she grows up, she's not shocked by any of it. Um, she just, she already knows about it. I know some people prefer to, like, protect their children and not share certain things but I think the opposite I think the more she knows about everything else the better it is for her so I at some point was enrolled in a teaching credential program because I thought I wanted to be a teacher um, but obviously the more I thought about it it was great be learning and getting going through that program but at the same time I didn't want to just spend my years teaching everyone else's children and kind of lack on my own children which is a little bit selfish but I, I have to be selfish with my children I don't know at least from my perspective some schools most schools I would say put up a front for the parents and don't really know what's going on inside the classrooms and I've seen where teachers um, don't really care for the students um, they just they don't care they don't want to be there they're frustrated because obviously there's a lot of work and it's not all teachers. Some teachers are great teachers and I've seen like really awesome teachers that I wish could be the same for every single child. But the honest truth is teachers have a lot to do with. They have to deal with um, lesson plans. They have to deal with their preparation um, meetings and um, school because some of them go back to school or need to go back to school. Some of them still have their own families and there's just so much for them to do and being in charge of so many kids grading all these papers is just a lot and it, it doesn't only burn them out but the children also suffer from it. Um, I know a lot of them it's impossible to pay attention and give it your all for every single child the same and um, I know some teachers would just kind of let the ones that are falling behind fall behind and then if you keep up you keep up and I think that's pretty sad I don't think children should be miserable going to school I don't want my child to feel like a failure just because she's not good in a subject I don't think 
it's realistic to expect every single child to be awesome and get A pluses in every single subject. And even when they do, I feel like tests and like being afraid to fail is not something I want my children to like have to go through. I want them to learn and to take chances and do better for themselves and explore and not be scared of that failure like I was. Um, failing, I think the most for most of us is something scary. Like we don't try or want to go for bigger things because we're scared to fail. And that's how our brains kind of were molded as we were children. So I just want my child to like my children to have a different experience and enjoy um learning and enjoy reading and things like that so i don't think it's that hard it just depends on your lifestyle if you want to homeschool from monday through friday from eight to three that's your thing um but if you're a really busy mom even if you're working i think you can homeschool um you can homeschool when you get back from work at nights and it doesn't have to be like all eight hours um in a day you can as much time as you need maybe it's just a few hours so then you take a break and then you go back to it at it again later on um, you can do like English your reading and stuff like that at bedtime you can do the weekends maybe a weekend yes and a weekend no because you have something to do that weekend I think you could fit it in with wherever you want if you really want to you can be as flexible as you want you don't have to assign homework and I think it's just homeschooling is awesome I am all for it and so I love the curriculum I think I am I get excited with new books and new materials and just helping my child learn and for her to actually tell me mommy I want I want teacher because that's how she says it I want teacher like I want school and so then I think um, as soon as I'm done with school in the next few months I'll be graduating which is oh, hallelujah I'll be done and so then I'll be able to focus a lot more in their homeschooling um that is still tiny she's a baby um but at least I'll have the curriculum that I use with that Areli I'll be able to use it once that gets old enough so I am planning to only homeschool up to the eighth grade I do want her to have the high school experience so I think high school is fun I think um a grand night and prom or whatever other celebrations they they will have in the future i think that's all good and for her to join any sports and things like that i don't think um my child will lack like like being what's it called um socializing with anyone because we do go to church she has a bunch of kids there that she sees constantly so i don't think that will be a problem um but i do want her to have the choice if she wants to go to high school i'm cool with it i don't mind in case she doesn't she doesn't really care for going to high school which is possible some people don't really care for high school um and so if she does want me to then i will finish it off and she'll graduate here at home school getting homeschooled and all that i'll do the whole shebang for her but um um yeah so that's my thought i don't want to homeschool her the entire time unless she wants to go in middle school too but middle school is a whole other drama like i've worked at a middle, middle school i know what goes on in there with the girls and the boys Especially now, there's very... Uh, parents think their children are, like, angels sometimes. And I'm like, you do not know what they're go doing when you're not around. Um, I met children that are Christian and... I was like you're a Christian and then they're like yeah we go I go to school I go to church and so I was just like oh my goodness like if your parents would see you um I don't think they would be so happy to see the words you're using to talk and your behaviors and stuff like that so I don't know I think just working at a school gave me a different perspective and made me worry for my own children so I am going to be sharing a lot more of my scheduling, um, my morning basket, and all these other things. So if you're interested in that, please, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.